friends. Today we are going to be doing a quick lesson inspired by something that is typically thought of as a weed, but I think is kind of beautiful. They're dandelions. If you have dandelions in your yard, which I know I do, we're actually going to collect a few and then use them for an art project. Now, if you don't have any out in your yard or maybe you don't have a yard, then you can just see if maybe you can take a walk, find some at a park or find some somewhere else that you can collect. Even if you don't have dandelions, you can still do this project. It might just look a little bit different than the way that I'm going to teach it to you today. Now, we are going to, of course, start with our mantra because that makes us super strong and ready for our art lesson. So, do it with me. Here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. Okay, all you'll need for this project are a few dandelions, some sort of coloring tool, like a colored pencil or crayons or something else that you might have, a piece of paper, and then maybe a black marker or a drawing tool because we're gonna add a few more details to our dandelion piece of art. So let's get started. So today when we make our dandelion art, we're actually going to be using the dandelion flower as some yellow pigment for our creation. So you're going to pick one of your dandelions and hopefully saving at least one or two that you can use as reference because we'll also be drawing our dandelions. I also picked this little blossom and a leaf so I could remember what the shape of the leaves and the other parts of the dandelion were. But we're gonna start by holding it from the little head, the flowery part of the dandelion and squish it onto our paper to make a few bright yellow bursts of color. So I'm just gonna press and squish into a little circle. So I'm making this blob of yellow from the pigment of my dandelion pop out. Do another one up here. Oh, I love how bright that is. Do another one down here. Do you think I should do a little one maybe? Like a little tiny one right here. Oh, little tiny one. Maybe another little one in the background like this up there. There we go. So I've used the dandelion petals as kind of a way of making a really bright color on my paper. So now I can set this one to the side and I'm gonna use the other dandelions as a way to observe what I see. So dandelions are filled with a lot of petals. They don't have a very different center like a lot of flowers that you see. There's just a small little bit that's kind of a little taller in the middle, but it's not super different. There's just a million petals. And then the underside has the part where it opened up and the blossom and the little kind of like coverings that were once covering it like this guy right here. So when I start to draw on top of these yellow squishes that I made, I'm going to observe what I see as an artist and then draw my details with the yellow bursts of color really being the main things that are standing out. So I'm going to take a skinny marker. You can use a Sharpie, you could even use a pencil, and I'm going to draw from observation my dandelion. So most of that is just going to be kind of wiggly little lines. So I'm doing lines coming out from the inside, kind of like a firework. Then I keep going with my lines as they get just a little bit bigger. And sometimes as an artist, I like to make my art a little bit scribbly so that I can make things quick and sketchy. But you can certainly take your time and do something a little bit more detailed if you'd like. And then I'm gonna keep going, make my dandelion a bit bigger near the end. These little bumps and wiggles and fill in my space. So the yellow part of my dandelion is kind of a cool fact because it was made from the yellow part of my dandelion. So I'm using my observation tool to make my piece of art. So I kind of like the way that looks. I might go back and add just a little bit more darkness to some of these here too, but then I'm gonna add the stem. And the stem usually is a little bit thicker, so I need two lines to show where my stem goes. One, two, like this. Got a little wide there, that's okay. And then the leaves always come right from the ground. So they're not really up on the petal or up on the stem that much. They're more from the ground like this. So then I could observe what I see from my leaf like this, draw that longer stem in the middle, right there, make it a little bit skinnier, and then draw the edges. So this kind of looks like an arrow to me at the top or a big triangle. And then I go back in and kind of open it up so it goes like this, kind of come down, Ooh, that's a funky leaf, or something like that. So once you've drawn from observation a few details of your dandelion, now you can go back and start filling in some of your other spaces. So I'm gonna fill in the rest of my yellow pods as well as a few more leaves and maybe a few more blossoms. That 
was super fun to draw. Sometimes I just get in the zone when I have a marker or a drawing tool in my hand and I just go to town. Now I kind of love it like this where we have just those pops of color being the yellow or the blossoms of the dandelions. So I might even finish or leave it like this at the very end. But I'm also going to show you how you can add a little bit of color as an option to your blossoms, to your stems, to the leaves to make them pop, but just a little bit more too. Now you can use any coloring tools like colored pencils, crayons, you could even shade with a pencil, you could paint them. Remember the possibilities are endless. You are the artist that can be kind of a problem solver to decide what you have around you to make your art. So I'm going to just lightly fill in, oh, you know what? I noticed the stems have a little bit of this kind of reddish brown color in it so I'm gonna have to grab some of those colors too but I'm gonna fill in the stems and have them be just a little bit lighter colored with my colored pencils and see what that looks like at the end too so it'll be a fun experiment to see if I like it better this way or if I like it better with the colored pencils at the end too so time to color <laughs> your own little dandelion composition made from dandelions. I actually really like it with the green that I added with the colored pencil, but it was also kind of beautiful with just the pops of yellow and the black marker. So you as the artist get to decide what you think is the very best way to express your creativity with this project. Now we're going to end today with a special little meditation to make us feel strong and ready for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna challenge you to grab one of your little dandelions and I always think that the smell of dandelions reminds me of summer, so I love the smell of them, but I know some people think that they're a weed. Either way, if you wanna use it for your meditation, here's what we're gonna do. It's mindful smelling. So really focusing intentionally on one thing. So we're gonna close our eyes and do two deep breaths and smelling in our dandelion while we let that breath go out wide from our diaphragm, from our belly here, and then release. So two deep breaths while smelling your dandelion. Here we go. makes me ready for summer, ready for sunshine, ready for a picnic, ready for anything that makes me feel like it is a nice warm day. So my friends, remember, you are amazing. You are resilient. You are strong. And I love you. We will see you next time.